The scenario we're going to be playing today is called Recon. It is number 8 from the Steamroller 2015 scenario pack. There is no kill box. You need 5 points to win. You get 1 for controlling the zone, 2 for dominating, but you can't do either of those to destroy the enemy objective. That is worth 1. And then there are also the flags that can also be dominated for 1 point. So here we are, game 2 of the Steamroller. And again, I'm asking myself, can I drop my Haley 3 list? And in this one here, again, I didn't feel it was the right one. I was now up against Mark and his Legion of Everblight. And his two lists were different ones he's working on. One is a twins list with uh, Saren and Rias. But the other one that I was pretty sure he was going to drop was the Lilith 1 list that he was telling me about that he wanted to run that actually had a lot of stuff coming from the sides and had two Ravagors and what it really come down to was that you know what with all these Raptors and stuff after he pops his feet and kills off my Blazers well he's going to be all around me with these double ambushers and then eventually get to my casters he can shoot my echoes with his magic bow so I gotta go Kane 2 again. So this is what's going to look like here this is uh, a scenario I felt I could really win by scenario and man, what a mismatch in models. I have starting on the board 68 models. He has nine. <laughs> and these aren't heavies either. There's only two heavies in here. And it's just, yeah, there's a lot coming from the side, being the double uh, blades. And each one has incubi. So once they get in there, there'll be a real problem. But I can be all over that center zone before they can even get to me. So my plan is just to get up there, clog up that zone, push him out, keep Kane alive, and get the win. So he goes first. He with he's actually a tier one, so he actually gets plus one to go first. He won. He went first, and so really his Raptors and this arrival go into the forest on the left. Ravagors go up. They take a couple of shots. Actually, he gets good scatters with both. Uh, one just missed my press gingers. The other one hits a couple of my uh, rangers there. Forgot their name was for a second. And I got a couple of corpses, but, you know, losing some guys early. Now, my turn, what I'm going to really want to do is really just get into his face. Really simple. But I also want to kind of kill Anissa Rival. She's a very key model. She makes it so all the other raptors get plus two to hit. Plus, she's pretty damn dangerous herself so i'm gonna try and kill her that'll be a little bit difficult the way i'm gonna do it is actually with magic bullets i'm just gonna run guys over triple magic bullet and uh crank them so that's really what i'm doing running up with the press gingers putting magic bullets up shooting my own press gingers in the back and then kill the nissa rival and actually rolled enough that i actually killed one of the raptors as well so that was fantastic otherwise everything is kind of running up now, Kane's positioning after I did the three magic bullets, I put myself back here on the hill so I get extra defense. Plus, I knew that the back Ravagor would not have range. The front Ravagor could have range, but then I have a shield guard, right? I got my Sentinel. Well, my Sentinel went and followed up Alexia. And this is my big mistake of the game because... It looks like I'm fine, right? I'm really far back, and it's going to be hard to hit me because I'm defense 19. But if he pops feet, he is going to get four dice to hit. And that is, well, on average, hitting me. So that's really, really bad. Luckily for me, he misses and scatters off wildly. Uh, the other one tried to shoot Alexia, I believe it was, scattered. You know, got her some blast damage. Nothing super serious. Uh, otherwise, Raptor's going up, killing some guys. Uh, of course, that one Ravagor is in the zone, so I have to kind of deal with it. But he didn't bring in his ambushers. And I wasn't really sure if he did that because he forgot. Or maybe he's hoping that I might now try and switch over to the right side and go on the flag. But, uh, spoiler, at the end of the game, we talked about it. And he just totally forgot. And that's one of the, the dangers of taking these ambushers is you might just forget to put them in. So on my turn, I go for the scenario. So really, the plan was to use the gun mages to push out the Ravagor, pop the feet, 
destroy the objective, may do some damage to the Ravagor, but jam him. But man, I just cranked that Ravagor. So after I pushed him out, I started shooting him. Oh, sorry, no, no, no. I started shooting the objective with the rest of the stuff, and I just destroyed the objective with regular rangers and gun mages. And so given that, yeah, then I just popped feet with Kane, killed off the Ravagor. Of course, I have all the different Risen I got in from all the guys he killed, and uh, from the Raptors anyway, and then just ran up there. So <laughs> if you guys remember my last game, the first game of Steamroller, I forgot to activate some Press Gangers. Yeah, the unit on the right totally forgot them again. So I don't know what's wrong with me, but either way, I'm sitting at a very good spot. I have three points to me already, and uh, he's just really jammed up. So on his turn, he decides to bring in these ambushers. So these guys come from back here, and these ones come from my left flank. And really, the top one do one charge and some running. He probably should really try to get all of them just in the zone. Uh, honestly, they probably didn't stand that good of a chance. But the Ravagor does a trample to try and kill Alexia. Uh, actually, you know, kills her after killing some other things here. And uh, the Raptors do some damage. The Blades on the left do some damage and run all over. So, looking at this, I mean, Lilith also had to come out to do some damage. And so, I could just kill Lilith, but I'd rather get the scenario. And I have two ways. One, I could just go for the right flag, score, and then jam, and then score again. But... With what he has in here right now, I just have to kill four models and I win. And there's a lot of rangers that can just aim and shoot these stealth models already. So if I just kill a couple of them, Kane can either do magic bullet or I can go and I can just shoot normally with true shot and take him down. And uh, with my two knockdown models there, I have two press gangers at Tuft, I can just shoot them and use them as magic bullets. But we'll see what the rangers do. So really the rangers go first, uh, the first two are like double ones, but the next two each kill a guy each. So with only two left, I just magic bullet shoot, magic bullet shoot, clear the zone, and I dominate for a win. So second win of the steamroller, five control points in either one, and this one was just a really bad matchup for my opponent. He really thought I was going to drop the Haley 3, he took this to deal with the Haley 3, which is exactly why I didn't take the Haley 3. And uh, yeah, man, this list, I, I don't know, like you go and you put Jake Van Meter against me with these two lists, and I, I just don't see there's much game that the Legion has against me. I did make that one mistake where Kane was a little bit too far forward and took that one shot without a shield guard, but man, if it wasn't for that one shot, or one chance, um, there wasn't very much Legion can do. And, man, again, uh, just to try and show that danger, if he would have hit me, it's at dice plus two or something, and I'm on fire, it would have been really, really, really bad. So, got a little bit of lucky there, but I'll take it. Second win, and we'll catch you for the next one. Bye.